years of knowledge that's within this stone. Mitchell Hedges was looking for a connection between Atlantis and the Maya. Well, according to Mayan elders that mm -hmm. come from Lubantun where the skull was found, they say that it's a communicator to the gods. No one really knows who made it and when it was made. Perfect. Oh, I hit the wrong, I hit that right button there. There we go. Okay. Well, I've been feeling a lot of like just sheer euphoria in the last 24 hours. Is that part of what's what's coming in right now? By the moon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think, David, if you tell her about the angel, that has a lot to do with it. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, the angel Blish came came in for the first time for me yesterday. That I'd, I've never even seen her before, and uh, and uh, like Lumeria is really coming online across the planet in a big, big way. And that frequency is really the new Earth frequency that we're we're going to be coming into. So that's bliss, bliss, and joy. Mm -hmm. uh, that's that's in line with what I was saying. Where a Lemurian temple was built around me on sun Sunday, fifty foot high. Uh, it's amazing. Uh, You're probably going to be tapping into that tonight. I'm guessing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so it, it's all about... coincidence, and it? it's yeah. all sy synchronized. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But it was amazing, absolutely. But it is, that was that it. Is uh, Are you kidding me? That's incredible. <laughs> it was it. Well, it, the person who run was was there actually saw the crystal being grown but i saw the full yeah. and it, that's that's at the uh crystal uh i forgot yeah. what it, i forgot what it's called now like a crystal <laughs> it's a, a, yeah it's crystal yeah. disc a crystal uh, temple in yeah. stoneway and it, it's uh, a galactic uh sort of base i actually saw alien <laughs> ships coming down as well which was great that's what i told them we're going to be doing some chakra work on Earth today. Um, there's something big coming in here, guys. I can feel it. It's huge. On oh, now. Vibrating all of my chakras. This is crazy. But uh, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead and uh, take her okay. away. Mm -hmm. Does someone want to do the breath work? Because I think we need to be in the zone, don't we? Well, Bill yes. always brings us in and then we'll pass through. Yeah. The breath Can work we in the... Bring it into your stomach and fill in your stomach up to your heart and then holding it for 10 seconds and then breathing out through your mouth through the top of your head into the, the nostrils of the greater. And then when it comes back down through the, through the top of your head, you'll feel the breath from the greater coming in through your body and down into your stomach as you fill your stomach. So if you put your mind on that, you know, you're breathing through your nose or mouth, but either, if you, as you put your mind on that, it, it brings your concentration that you can connect with that very strongly. So with the source. Yeah, with before I'm gonna start with a prayer today, and it's from Stranger in the Pentagon, it's uh, Valiant Thor. When he was here in 54, he said that all the ET entities that when they come to earth, they say this prayer. So it's a good prayer. If you want to look it up, uh, you get the book by Dr. Frank E. Stranges, and it's called Stranger in the Pentagon. And uh, it's it's a very short but powerful prayer. So I'm going to start with that. I want Eternal Father, creator of the universe, hear this day my petition. Surround me now with your divine ring of fire, your divine ring of protection the fire of your abundance, the fire of your complete healing, the fire of your divine abundance. I now command the hand of the Almighty God on my behalf. Let it be so. This is this very moment. In the blessed name of our Lord Jesus Christ, amen. And that's the prayer that the aliens say. When they come to earth. Yeah. When they come to earth. Okay, I want protection. you guys concentrating for opening up 
the other 12 skulls now. I connect the other 12 skulls. I connect them now. I ask all the masters, ascended masters, all the guides, the angels, the archangels, the galactic council of light, all those great beings that will be with us now, bless you for joining us in this meditation. You can feel it, this diamond light surrounding all of us, putting us in the circle, the circle of light. And as you see it and feel it, you can feel the energy building in it. And to start the breathing, we're going to start breathing in through your nose, or through your nose, but pull it in from your crown down into your lower stomach. Fill your stomach as it fills to the top. It goes all the way up to your heart chakra. At that point, just let it be filled with that love and light, and then hold it for ten seconds. Then, as you breathe out. Just feel it coming out your crown chakra, right into the heart of the Father. So start your breathing now. We'll do three breaths together. Now, with your third eye looking into the heavens, we're bringing down the diamond and light gold light coming from the heavens, bringing it down, down. As it comes down, you can feel it coming right through the crown, through your body, and now let it send into the earth, ground it deep into the earth. Feel this light coming down through the top of the skull, through the skull, and going deep into the earth, down to the heart of the mother. And she's waiting with open arms and she takes all that light and love and she sends it back to you now. You can see it like a sunset pink of universal love coming with it, bringing it up, up, up through your feet and into your heart, through the skull and into the skull. And now think about putting love in your third eye, thinking about it, and then bringing it down to your heart, filling your heart with love. Just keep filling it, filling it. Now with your heart and mind, send that love right towards the skull in front of you. And you can see it starting to expand and expand with the love and light, lighting up. Breathe it in again. And then send the love into the skull. Feel your love. Open your love. Open your heart. And just feel the love for all creation, all mankind, all life forms of all types. Sending that love out from your heart. And the skull is a multiplier. And as we send our love, it's being multiplied thousands and thousands of times and expanding, expanding. And you feel it. And all feel a beam of light going from the skull now right into your heart, lighting you up from your head to your ground. And feel yourself starting to just lift, lift up higher and higher as the skull is being with our love as we send it into it. The ball is rising, rising, and they can see it right in front of us, this huge ball of light. Keep the breathing, send the love, send the light into it. 
more you sin, the bigger it gets. Fill your heart with love. Send love. And it now it's ready. It's at a point it's going to just kind of explode that love out. And it's going to go all around the earth. And as it explodes now, just with your mind, guide it. Guide it around the earth. All around the blue planet, send that love. Until you can fill in all the areas so it's all surrounded. Oh, there. So go with us now. Send that love. Share it where you feel it needs it, where there's war with the disease, where there's hunger, where there's sadness. Fill it with that joy and love. Asking the angels to be with us to open the hearts, turn the hearts in light and love up. And see it opening the chakras and bringing the chakra up. There it goes. Go now. Um, Phil, I'm not sure if you're feeling this intensity, but um, yeah, right started, into started talking to the skull and it started bringing me into its heart. Um, and then as I went through its heart, interestingly, we ended up in a lab, a, a Palladian, Palladian lab, and uh, a way, way time, a time of um, it's kind of like Lumerian Atlantean time. And there's all these Palladian engineers and they're downloading information into the skulls, into all of these skulls. Um, and as I'm tapping into that, it's just this massive crystal frequency that just starts shooting through all of us. Uh, almost like we're like a representation of all of these, uh, this crystalline uh, diamond information and everything. And, that I know Phil has um, some, I just wanted to bring that into the awareness. Uh, well, Phil, you go, you have a, the raise the frequency of the waters was, if you want to get into that part, of it, and I'm just going to tune in to both. Thank you. Thank you, David. I, I can feel the, the intense energies tonight are really, it, this is so special. And uh, I know David's got one, a special one afterwards. We always have to. <laughs> Or three, it might be four, I don't know. Well, what everyone who wants to join this, everyone's got a, a very source being aspect. Uh, mine's a crystal source being called Emperor. And I met her on a, a journey, went with David actually, about three or four years ago. And if we can partially merge with our source being, if either you know who the source being is, male or female energies, or you can just ask the being to come in. Partially merge, so you're in control. But I'm partially merging with Ebra. She's a crystal being, crystal energy being. She looks like a blue diamond. She laughs a lot. She's got the physique of a human, but it's all blue diamonds. I'm also partially merging, because you can merge with more than one aspect, with my Lemurian uh, I priestess who connected to me this year, and I actually don't know the name. So I'm connecting with these two. <laughs> so just do some breath work and just partially merge if you want to if you want to go to the higher dimensions, which we will do tonight. Just breathe. 
if anyone wants to say any who they're merging with, it'd be, uh, it'd be fascinating. Uh, we're merging with um, temple holders uh, of the families of these um, terrestrial races with all the skulls. They're actually opening up um, brain neuron neuron um, extensions of light around our heads um, to give us more gifts. It's um, uh, preparing for new new abilities it's it's quite fascinating uh, we're bringing in a new code um uh, which will make this mission even more successful now once everyone's uh, merged with their aspects we're going to start uh what's it called star disc in stonywell in 4d there's a Lemurian temple, and I've been told I've got to go there. I only saw it on Sunday. So we're going to put, uh, <clears throat> ask our source being to take us there. Correct. <laughs> I'm not saying whatever it's just said to me, but I'll leave it for that. So we're going to this Lemurian temple. It's 50 foot high. It's made of crystal. It's got a golden amber light to it all over, and it's very intricate. And <clears throat> I've arrived there. Please join us. Anyone who's watching in the future, time is irrelevant. You can still join us. And I've been told that they're going to give us a blessing before we have a key, the key to the Akashic Records for the original blueprint of Earth. So we just line line up. That's it, yeah. Just line up and just do some breath works. This is quite I, I wasn't expecting this actually. Uh and the eye priestess has got like an egg, but it's a crystal egg. And it's got like like golden light coming off it. And we've just got to raise our mouth. We're not I think she's just gonna pour it, we've probably been blessed. And she's just pouring it over us. I feel it tingling. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes, For everyone who wants to bless him, it's blessed that you feel it. I wonder if that is to raise our DNA. This is clearing all anything that we've got before the journey. Because it's so important, we need to clear anything that we might have in our auric field. And it's clearing. She's now bringing a. Yeah, what is it? It's like a blue crystal. It's actually like Evra. And Evra is actually receiving it. It's got a code in it. I mean, she's, Evra's telling me she's got a code in it to release the blueprint from the Akashic. And if you, if you while well, you're just, just look up, you'd see the intricate of this temple. It's unbelievable. Uh, thank you very much. And that part of the journey's gone. So we've got our, basically our access to the blueprint. And now we are going into our 13th chakra. Yeah, go into the 13th chakra and there's a room with a door. And basically, this room is the Akashic Records. Yeah, Akashic Records. And we're giving these sorts of fish beings, are they? I'm not I don't know what they are. We're giving them the crystal, the blue, blue crystal, blue diamond crystal. And this is releasing the codex print for the water. 
Yeah. And that integrate it sense. within your cells, within your water first fill. It's amazing. Yeah. What was that? Sorry, David. Integrate it within your, into your no, water. It, it, it's actually coming out of the Akashic in like symbols and um, it's ever keeping hold of it somehow because uh, she's a source being she's keeping hold of it because this needs to be integrated into somewhere else into an higher vibration so she's got that now i don't know what that means it's just symbols it was like dancing dancing symbols and now using the pillars of light this is another part uh, i was being shown four months ago Using the pillars of light, we're going dimensional. We're going into, now, if you can't hold this energy, it can be very difficult, very painful. We're going into the 22nd dimension. This is a non-physical celestial energy. As Andromeda celestials are here, and also tribe people, I don't know where they are. So if we keep on lifting the dimensions, using the pillars of light up to 22D, uh, keep on going up it's like a lift and this might you might get ringing in your head or something like that and keep on going up and up and up keep on going up my head's buzzing now and we get, we're now in 22, 20 second chakra, 22 dimensional section. Uh, this is about 200 chakra, actually. Uh, the celestials are waiting, we're waiting, waiting for us anyway. They didn't know all everything. They're going to give us, they're going to blend their energy with and integrate the blueprint of water to give it the energy to go through every particle of water. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's Ramadu slash rules. And they're going to send the energy with us. And we're going to go back down and we're going into the Atlantic Ocean. That's it. Is that it? Yeah. So uh, Ever is going to help me with this one. So we are going all the way down to the Atlantic Ocean. We become the Atlantic Ocean. That's what, what they're telling us. We become the Atlantic Ocean. So let's pull this energy down. To the ocean. Wow. It's like a big wave now. The actual program is, is getting connected to the water. The water is reprogramming itself. And it's moving as a wave. Every water particle is, is changing right through the world. Can you see anything, David? Um, yeah. So, um, um, so you had connected us to one crystal city, but there's many crystal cities um, above the earth. And so we're just connecting to them all right now um, to the heart centers opening up uh there's telos opening up there's agartha uh opening up above the sahara desert there's one above in the sky opening up and there's more within earth opening up and we're just going to strengthen these connections to anchor in the um, 
both into the air grids and the and the water Lumerian. It is Lumerian water template. So we're just connecting it into all of the dimensions and the crystalline cities because this is intensifies the solidifies and anchors all of the grid points because the water has the waters have their grids as well and we're using the crystal cities to anchor the grid points of these water grids now within ourselves as well um and then um interestingly yeshua showed up um but the Lumerian let Yeshua when he was around in Lumeria at such a high frequency, it was it's absolutely nuts. And as I'm connecting to him, like even right now, the purity of the light is beyond the glow of the Yeshua that I channel. It is just such a huge intensity, the purity. And he is connecting with us. He's connecting with the skills and he's bringing like the heavenly energies of the highest purity to, to bring in, uh, into this um, frequency, into this grid system as we're all connected to it. And it's literally going to start shooting out of heart chakras and opening within star seeds, purifying their holy temples, purifying their chakras across the planet. And so it's more because the water consciousness, it's all relative to like what exists within us and then outside of us. So we're double upgrading um, Lumerian codex of water within our cells. The frequency is changing as well as in the oceans and the molecules in the air is like relevant to everything. That's what I was. I, I feel like I'm the old ocean now. <laughs> I've been told this, this will uh, help our DNA strands. It's just so powerful, honestly. It's so yeah. strong. This is this is one of the strongest frequencies I've been in. Uh, it might even be the strongest. I'm not sure. It's just such a high pure crystalline frequency of light. And I can see the deities of light. Um, they're just like floating gods, beings, angels, everything that are all connecting to this at it, it, such a high level. It's it's a whole new energy field. It's unbelievable. Mix that with the celestial energies and you've got, you got new earth, haven't we? Yeah. I mean, even the... All the fey kingdoms, all the elemental kingdoms, they're connected. Could you think of like all of the lakes, all of the rivers, all like everything that's connected to this? It's just, it's literally all of the magical king. It's everything on this planet is being upgraded at the moment. It's just, it's, but at to such a high level, it's, it's blinding. It's like the earth is going through a total rebirth. It's, it's, it's just incredible. Everything is like a bright, crystalline, high level of source light. All of these magical beings, it's just, it's incredible. They're all here. They're all connected to this. It's, this is like a multi-dimensional connection between the crystalline cities, between the magical kingdoms, between the oceans, the sea kingdoms, like the crystalline core of Gaia. It's like everything. If anyone's watching this and they're starting to get pain, your bone structure might be getting crystalline a bit. <laughs> so apologies for that. We'll, we'll anchor, we'll ground everything too, just to make yeah. sure that this will be a lot of frequency for everybody here. And uh, but they wouldn't have brought us together, and they wouldn't give us this if we couldn't handle it and everything, um, mm -hmm. including those who are watching and everything. So it is definitely a massive energy. Uh, and you'll likely be going through chakra upgrades, but it's like everything's going through an upgrade on the planet. So it's where we're in it together, basically.
saying the time is now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it, it is present, it is complete. Mm -hmm. And it's a free, the freedom along with this. The unbinding of so much that falls away. Mm -hmm. It's always good to breathe it through all of the energies, all of the chakras, letting everything integrate, breathing it through yourselves, breathing it through the water within self and exhaling out the soles of your feet and just integrating it. And we'll do a grounding code. Activate enhance, amplify, expand, grounding, just grounding, grounding, grounding. And then we'll ask everybody's crystalline source cells and higher cells to assist to integrate this with ease and grace for everybody because it's sure. such. Look at this. Michael, Archangel Michael, the golden version, he's coming up. He's bringing in lightning rays and he's shooting it all. That's a massive grid clearing. Oh, look at that. It's shooting across the whole entire planet clearing off density that he in his sword he unleashed all these fire dragons going to purify everything um they're just gonna it's a, comp a massive transmutation of density that was different did you see that phil i did uh, i said something to him but i won't repeat it <laughs> He's just a show off. <laughs> yeah, he is a show off. He yeah. <laughs> just comes in. Excuse me, uh, <clears throat> Archangel Michael here. Just got to do something. <laughs> Nothing serious. Just a Gaia cleanse. We're just getting rid of all those old coats. <laughs> uh, it's so funny. Seeing that. All the angelics need us as on the earth, so they are so so much love that I'm feeling coming down to us. Oh, wow. Blessings, blessings, blessings. With all this happening around us, is what's happening to with us and within us. Look at that. If anyone that needs any more grounding, just visualize an halo above your head and the halo, just visualize it going to the ground around you and it'll just take any any high vibration that you can't handle or any, anything. Mm -hmm. oh, that is so painful. Every same job is very successful, more than if you ever thought it would be. And, and it's just oh, a ton. I'm like tuning into this. It's like the earth is magnetizing this huge golden city of lights and i've seen some of them before but this one has a whole bunch of actual like 12 dimensional beams flying through in it and they're and they're all coming to the planet right now just to basically assist um so a huge a, a, a huge higher dimensional uh, reinforcements coming in which is uh more than welcomed uh yeah that's good. they're getting ready something big this is it this is like such a huge moment that's coming in so yeah, yeah the crystalline cities the matrix is there so the matrix is such that we're as we move into the crystalline cities we'll not really be aware of it as much because it's it's very familiar to us that because they're they're creating these these worlds that we've been in and we lived in so it's going to be their home their home our home i'm back uh, yeah if you ever need an energy boost watch this one again 
Holy smokes. Oh. Mm. Anything else? There's so, so many things went in that. I don't know what to do. Much blessings to all of you and all of us. And thank you for all that you do. Bless you. Bless you. Yeah. I'll bring the circle in now. Bring us into the circle. I'm just going to bring us back lightly and gently as you, as I count from one to five. One, just let the energy flowing back into your body. Two, just feel it coming out your fingertips and toes as you're starting to come back. Three, it's just all that love and all the stuff we felt. And as we want leave our this area and we were in our lives that is staying with us now forever. It's in our bodies, our DNA, it's in our life. Four, you're almost back. Five, when you're ready, mm -hmm. you can open your eyes whenever you're ready and come back. So God's love to all of you. Thank you, thank you. God's love to all those beings that worked with us. And I can just I open the channels between the other 12 skulls now. Much blessings, God's love. Thank you. Oh. I think we hit a record. I think so. I think I think we might have a bit of a Schumann spike. <laughs> it was electrifying. Wow. They yeah, don't want to leave. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to leave. I'm, wow. not, I'm not sure we did leave. I really I think we might still be in these crystal <laughs> cities. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, you know, it's I can feel how the family is coming back together, the family of light workers that we are. And as we get together, the, the power comes stronger and stronger. And just look at this group. What we're and the, you know the blessings to be able to do this on this special day. It's just uh much so much uh you feel so grateful and it must I not just have to send so much appreciation, love to the divine for all their guidance and help on this. And for all of you. David and Phil, you guys are amazing. Yes, you, you are. Thank, thank, you. thank you for having us, truly. It's uh Yeah, I, I felt like we were one then actually. We were all one conscious at the time. I did too. I yeah. felt like mm -hmm this was the group that needed to go and do the work and, and manifest it and bring it in. It was just amazing. And then when you were doing the water and all I, and all of a sudden I saw the rivers and the lakes before you talked about it. And I went, oh my God, look at what's happening to every little Creek river lake all over the whole planet. It was amazing. Mm. I was, wow. And I saw the same thing. I saw all the Celeste, the, the fairy kingdoms and then the angels coming down and being with the fairies and then just so much. I mean, the energy was, wow. It's like literally dancing on the stars. When it, when Yeshua showed up in his Lumerian light, and I'm like, what? You were in Lumeria? <laughs> he goes, of course I was. Oh, yeah. And I'm just <laughs> like, holy smokes. You're like <laughs> brighter than I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> Uh -huh. yeah, people are just getting used to them being in Egypt and India and all that, and now in the United States. But yeah, he, he yeah. the end with us all through time and space. And then Michael turns up. Oh, that was cool, buddy. <laughs> that was yeah. all his gold. I've seen him before when he comes in and all his gold, and I'm going, "Wow, we're here to do business." <laughs> Yeah. I, I'm a I'm an Earth Angel, so we've got some sort of uh, joke between us. <laughs> Me and Michael. <laughs> I, I once was calling in 22, uh, 22 Chakra, Platinum Ray, uh, Christ Consciousness, and he came in and he says, "Am I on commission?" <laughs> As a joke. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 
I, I didn't. I, I was alive, but I didn't, I didn't expect it. So. <laughs> oh. It's quite interesting yeah. to see how he, um, had, like this electric lightning running through his sword and uh, shooting yeah. these fire dragons to cleanse off everything. That was. Now really that's. Cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He has a lot of dragons that he uses. Blue ones, actually, a lot of blue ones too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they clean out a lot of stuff. I never but thought that, but what a good idea! Like, what? like to have dragon energy <laughs> in your sword to like clear <laughs> grids off. But, and shot, David. Yeah. That sword can emit any energy you want it to. Mm -hmm. It doesn't yeah. have to be the blue ray. It can be anything. Absolutely anything. Right? Oh yeah. Yeah. Is, uh, Anybody else? We're everybody's not just listening. If you have something to say, if something you felt, everything is really important to say it now. It'd be good. Or are you not on the earth yet? <laughs> <laughs> David, in the celestials, I saw tribal celestials. I haven't seen them before. Uh, they, they look like uh, illuminated um, people, like Ooh. people that could illuminate, but they're tribal. Yeah. So they're the they're part of the sun deities. Um, mm. They they they're like god beings. They can become human and illuminate. They 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 were some of the first on Earth. Actually, I think they're like. I can't remember if they were the first ones. I think they were the first ones on Earth, I'm pretty sure, before anything. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yeah, you don't want to don't want to leave or it's just like <laughs> it feels so good in that because I you feel like you're still in that energy and it's just like wow. But now now that we've opened it, it's you know, it's with us all the time. So it's really that's exciting for what's what's to come. Yep. Yeah. It's like we're on holiday. <laughs> yeah. That vibration of all it being on holiday. Well, I'm excited because yeah. like we hit a, a level that I I don't think that I felt before. Like it was so strong. And um usually when you hit a level like this, um special things start happening around you like um visitations from guides be ets or it could be anything but some of this magnitude of what happened this every being was participating in it so um just enjoy that connection um keep an eye out um maybe uh i always like uh especially on something like this when it's night to look up at the, if you have a clear sky, look up at the stars, just pay attention. Um, Cause you'll, you'll lots of magical things happen um, because it's like a celebration. There's like this, yeah. it's a huge celebration going on right now. And uh, they want to come down and say, Hey, there's the, there's those amazing people on earth. They just, they're the ones who do the mission. Can I have your autograph? Please? It's, just, you know, it's like, <laughs> It's kind of it's kind of like that in a way, but yeah, yeah, I agree. Okay, so, so it's it's a lot different, you know, being here than being in the dimensions and etheric and stuff like that. So, like, it's uh, it's a pretty big honor for us, you know, to be doing this work. It really is. It sure is. It's a blessing. It yeah, is. A, sure. It is an absolute blessing. It just. It makes my heart sing and it just brings me to tears almost every time. I'm just like, wow, I am so, I'm so humbled by them choosing us to do this work because we're uh, uh, apparently they certainly trust us with doing a lot. Well, we've done, you know? done it in the past and that's what we're doing here. Yeah. And we've been doing it even without knowing it for all these years we've been here. Mm -hmm. So yeah, a matter of... Uh, just allow, allow it, yeah. and accept, and become. Oh, there. Well, here's to new Earth. Uh, so thanks, everybody <laughs> who's, uh, I know a lot of people 
so so much crystalline energy they're not coming on to say anything but thanks for for being here and, and uh, anchoring this in with us and so much so and everybody who's who could be watching this um as a replay too you know like everybody it's it's really fascinating how even like we create this whole network with us right and then people they watch this in a replay they add their codes they add their like their piece of the puzzle it's, it's quite a fascinating and, and they get a, we got to learn a little new story with the skull there there was some extra um like lumerian atlantean um programming that went into the skull like uh for this it was like almost like like it was leading us into a memory of 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 a past of a, in a time that had a higher frequency so the the skull network and all these skulls were there and then it was fascinating i didn't even get to talk about this part so there's these syrian beings and they and their heads are all like this and they're connecting and they're upgrading our neurals and opening up things within our our or within our brain capacities um for higher expansions and gifts and everything what will happen will we like it's gonna we will see but it, it was definitely a major like a major deal today it was not just the waters we were we were upgrading almost like our um templates um yeah for, for our uh telepathy and all these different things like there's just some really high high things that were happening and uh i, for, I totally forgot to go into that part but but phil is yeah, I think memory we're remembering because at the time we had those upgrades in us, you know, and now when we're here, we've been diluted, diluted uh, in our consciousness. But uh, as we see this and work with us, this connects us to our, our being in the past who our, you know, our spiritual soul is, and it's bringing that through now the channels are open. So as they, we think, oh, they're, bringing that into us we already have it but when we see that our channels between you know time is what's time are being brought into us now so we can uh, assimilate and use our gifts now which is so so exciting hmm. yeah I, I also think we're probably getting an our dna strands so we, yeah. we could be gods on earth in a way well, one thing which was strange at the Lemurian temple when i went on sunday was your crystal school was there. So the plan was already being in action. <laughs> I just didn't know much about it. Not just any <laughs> crystal skull. Like this hmm? is the, the Mitchell Hedges crystal skull. It's got such a fascinating history, really. It's I think it's the oldest known crystal skull on the planet, isn't it, Bill? Yeah. On the planet, yeah. Yeah. It's well, it's multi-dimensional. So it's it has a it's a beam and it travels with and meets you know many people at once sometimes in different parts of the world but it does it it does what it's supposed to do and it's it programmed to help humanity and it was programmed back in in the uh back back in the uh, uh, uh lemurian atlantis time for sure yep yeah Bef yeah it was strange i saw it in a lemurian temple <laughs> so yeah there's the connection fall yeah it's so fascinating. It's interesting how it's working before this connecting with Phil at that Lumerian temple. And then uh, mm. it was all part and plan of this uh, major activation today. I mean, on the super blue moon of all days, like I mean, there's yeah. so amazing stuff happening today. Like this is just such a, this is such a huge day. It's like, to, to me, this is like the turning point where we we go into liftoff mode as as uh, with the star seeds and start coming into this, a whole new reality like the beginning of this whole new um possibility that we've been working so hard to bring in it's just like it's all coming together now it's incredible yeah i agree yeah, it's hard to be here, isn't it? You just, you know, <laughs> Poor Bill, he's just like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, let's go for yeah. a walk and ground. And um... so much love right now. Just feel that love that's sharing. Wow, into all of us. Yeah, I want to show you me shirt. Yes. 
Love. Ah, love. <laughs> nice. That's great. So, okay, well, much love to all of you. I hope we everybody else came out of the meditation. Can't do we don't know where they're they're not saying anything. Nobody's so. saying anything. I think they're all they're all out of it. <laughs> <laughs> that was a very big blast. <laughs> <laughs> it was a big blast. So, appreciate you guys so much, and the yeah. timing sure is do. so important. And we're glad we're all together now. This is the time. So, yeah, mm -hmm. the peace. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you everyone for being here, and much much love on this. Thank you. Super moon. Are you awake? <laughs> I'm taking it all in. Um, <sighs> wow. Right? Ah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Yeah. I'll see you then. <clears throat> okay. Okay. All right. Uh, much love. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.